Hey guys, um, what is up? January last day. Um, and today, I'm just gonna tell you how to make a desktop similar to this one I've made here. Okay, so let's go. First of all, you're gonna open Photoshop. It's just Steam, silly me. You want to open up Photoshop. You can get a file new and pick your screen resolution. So in this case, mine is 1920 by 1080. So I'm just gonna name this. Um, like this up here. Um, your resolution 70 RGB color 8 bit and background contents white. Make sure it's white. And you click OK. Okay, first of all, you're gonna want to add a gradient in. So you're gonna make this color here like a very, it's just like a, a, a middle gray sort of, like not too dark but not too light. You're gonna want to make this color here a very light gray, so oh, that will do. So what you can do, you're going to dra drag your rulers out, if they're not out already, just click Command and R and just drag them out to the middle There, it'll snap into place hopefully and then you're going to go to the bottom and hold Shift so it doesn't go like that, so if you hold Shift it so that, see, and you're just going to drag that all the way up or if you want to just make it a small gradient just like that, so I, I I think I'll have it like that, personally. So then you're gonna add a text. I'm gonna use um, a nice font. Um, I think I I quite like it. It's called Gang Wolfwick. Um, you can download it off that font. So and then you're just gonna you're just gonna make that like that. And you're gonna I'm just gonna sh make it a tiny bit smaller. So that okay, <clears throat> that's done. So what I'm going to do, you're going to double click on this and go to bevel and emboss and make the depth as much as you can go and you can just edit this to your liking so I'm going to have it like that and then just soften it, actually I'm not going to have it softened, <clears throat> I can make it like that just for now. Okay then you click OK, okay that's all nice and dandy. Then to add this nice little shiny thing in. Actually, oh, if you want to, you can give it a stroke. Just, just give it a stroke like that. So make it look nice and nice. <clears throat> but if you want to add this thing in, you can download. You can just choose off the internet. Um, in this case, I've got one on my desk in my desktop on in my Photoshop stuff. So in flares. So I've got loads of this. See, I've got loads of these. I I downloaded a pack off the internet. So. You can do that, so you can, you can just choose lots of flares, and you can just choose whichever one suits you. So, like, let's just have this one for now. So, we're going to drag that onto there, like that. And you're going to want to make it pretty big, because otherwise it will leave something. So, you're going to make it about like that big. Then you're going to change this blend mode here to screen. Make sure it's on screen. See? And then you're just going to drag that into place. But, see, if it, I'll show you, if you make it too small, like that. You can see it makes uh, it leaves like an edge here. So if you make it, um, oh god. So if you make it big, you can. So if you make it big, you can just. It's it's invisible. So I think I'm gonna put that in there. Like that. So that leaves that one there. But if you don't like this flare, see if I just delete this flare. I'm gonna choose. Maybe, um, I like this flare, I think. I'll, I'll put this flare in, but as you can see, it's backwards. So if you want to make it not backwards, you're just going to image. Actually, you have to click that's place down for a second. And you're going to go to edit, and then you go to transform, even, and then you're going to uh, flip it horizontally, like that. See? And then you're going to click Command T to transform. And then you're just gonna make it bigger and hold shift to keep it nice like that. So we're just gonna make that into screen. And there. Nice. So th there we have it. We have our nice simple background. So you can just go to file, save as, save it in my Photoshop stuff, and I'll name this one. So Jamie YouTube tipped. They can do that, and then yeah, you can set it as your desktop. So 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please be sure to comment, rate, and please subscribe. It helps me out. And if you want more content like this, it will just keep it will urge me on to keep making these videos. So yeah, thank you.